Hi, IBD. I'm Meredith Heyman. This is Industry Insights. Thanks so much for joining me. Now, when the weather warms up and the days get longer, the housing market usually comes into bloom. But with high interest rates and low inventory, will buyers and sellers come out of hibernation? Joining me to discuss the outlook for the real estate market as spring gets underway is Chief Economist at Bright MLS, Lisa Sturdivant. Lisa, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Now, weather is warming up as we speak. So give me a general outlook for the spring out housing market. Yeah, I think that as we see the weather warm up, um, as we see mortgage rates start to stabilize, maybe come down a little bit this spring, I think we are going to see more buyers out in the market. Um, but I think what also is going to be interesting to watch is I think that the warmer weather, the stabilizing and dropping mortgage rates it's also going to bring more sellers out. And that's going to be a welcome sign for buyers who have been really struggling with such little inventory in the market. Now, what's the potential for lower mortgage rates? It's what buyers and sellers, I think, are most considerate about right now, maybe most worried about right now. What's the potential for those to drop with the potential for the Fed interest rate cuts as well? Yeah, it's a whole new environment for mortgage rates, right? We're not going back to the 3% or even 4% rates we had a few years ago. Uh, with the latest uh, inflation data and the really strong jobs report, it's looking more and more likely that the Fed's not going to cut rates until probably June. Um, mm -hmm. And so what that means for mortgage rates is they're probably going to hover around 6.5% here in the spring before ultimately falling uh, in the second half of the year. I think the forecast right now that I'm seeing is rates coming down to about 6% by the end of the year. So it's going to be a little bit more favorable um, in the second half of the year. But like I said, buyers should not expect us to see rates coming down to where they were before. Uh, those days are gone. Right, right. So if it rather than the spring housing market taking off, it more it may be more along the lines of the summer housing market heating up. I think that's right. You know, we um, we haven't had a real that real seasonality in the housing market in quite some time, uh, mostly because buyers have had to uh, stay in the market a little bit longer because there's been so few homes to choose from. So you keep searching and you make offers and you're competing against other other buyers. And so I think we'll have a strong market in the spring. I think that will extend all the way into the summer. Um, and maybe even pick up even more in the fall when rates continue to fall and when more inventory comes online. You may see me shaking my head a lot right now with this, Lisa. You're preaching to the choir. I'm in the house hunting uh, game. And yeah, low inventory is the name of it, unfortunately. But when it comes to prices, what can buyers and, and sellers expect to see? Let's stick with looking into the spring. Yeah, and um, I'm afraid I don't have great news for you <laughs> on, the, on the price front either. You know, we've seen that inventory has remained so low, and that's been the primary reason why home prices have been rising is as fast as they have. What I will say as we head into the spring market here, I do expect that in most markets across the country, home prices will still be on the rise, but they'll be rising much more slowly than they have over the last couple of years. On top of that, we're seeing um, that more and more sellers are offering concessions to buyers, whether in the form of closing cost assistance, help with repairs. Those sorts of offers that really weren't on the table during the pandemic are becoming more common. So buyers will have a little bit more leverage in the market, but uh, prices are still going to be rising um, in most markets that folks are looking in. So let's talk about a, a few additional housing market influencers. When it comes to buyers buying, they may be looking to more new construction because of some of those incentives. Talk to me about those. Yeah, you know, new construction is really um, forming an outsized share of the housing market. Typically, new construction accounts for about 10% of the inventory in the market. And right now, it's about a third of the homes available for sale. And as you point out, builders are able to offer concessions. We're seeing builders who are offering to buy down points on mortgage rates, which can be a big deal to a buyer who might be able to get a 5.5% rate instead of a 7% rate if they go with new construction. But frankly, new construction is attractive because in many markets, it's really uh, where the inventory is. I do think we're going to start to see more existing homes come online, existing homeowners listing their home for sale, um, which will increase inventory overall. But new homes are still going to be one of the places where people can find those deals and can find those choices. 
Sure, sure. What about renting prices? Those are also on an upswing, unfortunately. So those potential would-be renters might turn into would-be buyers, right? Yeah, it's been really interesting. Last year, we had a record number of new apartment buildings that came online. So new apartment construction was really, you know, really on fire in lots of parts of the country. And we actually started to see rents come down last summer. But that uh, trend has slowed down a lot. And the number of uh, new permits for apartment construction has really slowed. So as you point out, even though some renters felt a little relief last summer, we are starting to see rents begin to increase again. And it will be um, making a different trade-off maybe between whether people decide to rent or whether they get into the home ownership market. But both of them remain challenging here in 2024. And there's also a changing demographic when it comes to home buyers. We're seeing more boomers rather than millennials for the first time becoming homeowners. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. The boomers are really locking up supply in a lot of ways. Uh, they uh, are the folks who are sitting on really super low mortgage rates, really reticent to list their home for sale. On the un other end of the spectrum, you have uh, millennials and young adults who are um, having to delay home ownership. The average age of a first time home buyer hit a record high uh, back in 2022. People are having to wait longer to save longer for a down payment. And um, really sort of every year folks put off the ability to buy a home is one less year that they have a chance to gain equity in that in that home. So this balance between generations is really playing out on both sides of the market. Absolutely. Well, Lisa, we'll be watching. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. This is Industry Insights. I'm Meredith Heyman. We'll see you next time.